guys it's psychic medium queen coming in with another video and i'm coming in this sunday morning july 19th 2020 it's 10 a.m this seems to be the best time for me to do videos because it's quiet i happened to look at google this morning because i'm not a person that watches a lot of tv as you all know and um so the only way i'll see something is if it literally comes across my google page or if it happens to be in my feed on facebook or instagram so <clears throat> with that said i came across articles about tamar braxton and nene leaks and i felt led to do a video i do know that i have a few videos i'm going to be pushing out for you guys over the next week do bear with me i do have a very very busy reading schedule it's just getting busier i always do videos because my desire is to be an aid to you all at the top of it all yes um it's good to hear about entertainers lives and things of that of that nature but most importantly it's about you all and that's what brought me to this particular topic because it's talking about suicide it's talking about rape it's talking about um very real people no matter how much money they have going through troubles so let's get right into it here guys i just got a few messages and i see tamar in a hospital bed and I see her saying, I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I just can't take this. I just want to go. And Nene Leakes, I hear her saying, everything I've done for people, I'm done with. No one knows what we go through. And Tamar is saying, I've been raped. I've been beaten. I've been defiled. I've been cast off. I'm so serious. I'd rather not be here. Nene Leakes, you guys, she actually lives a lonely life. And what spirit gave to me about both of these women is, you know, the saying something to this effect, those who have the loudest voices in the room are always the most insecure. Spirit, what are the messages you have for Tamar Braxton and Neely Leakes on today? Mm. Okay, wow. Mm. Mm, wow. These cards are already shot messages off of them before I can even finish getting them all shuffled out. Okay, right off the bat here, um, this is a couple that's upside down, and this gives me both of them. This gives me Neely and Tamar. As far as Tamar goes, she was absolutely miserable in her previous marriage to Vince. She put on a facade for people. Um, to make believe she was happy. And it's very much the same thing with Nini. Nini has went off and she's literally morphed into an entirely different woman. If you go back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, back when the seasons first started, that woman was totally different. You know, her eyes were different, her nose was different, her face was different, her hair was different, how she carried herself was, um, well, very much the same with the attitude. She's just got a whole new look now, but she's very unhappy in her marriage. She feels like she needs to take care of everybody else in their mama. That's what I'm hearing, so to speak. She has to take care of Greg. Greg is older than her. That's starting to really catch up. When she was younger, she felt as though, you know, it was more sustainable because Greg was, even though he was older, he was still on the younger side. I feel he's a lot older than her. And, and then he, she carries her age very well, but I feel like he's a lot um He's a lot older and is really starting to affect, affect the way she gets around, the way she moves, how happy she is, and, and the image she's trying to sustain, which is very, it's a very much a farce. There's nothing genuine about her um, disposition that she's putting on there. And Spirit made mention of it in the August Alcina and Jada Pinka video. It's a for a look. It's all about what it looks like to the general public. It's not real none of it is and she is very very unhappy it doesn't matter how much stuff material she's acquired here it's not made her life feel any better another thing here she's given thought to all the things around her right now everything she's putting her energy into about even real housewives of atlanta how she always feels like a narrative is flipped all the time She's thinking and thought about not going back. It feels like a flip-flop. So I don't feel like she's really made a definitive decision. She makes mention of it because I don't feel like she's made up her mind. And um, that's going to be after this video. So that can go either way. 
the enemy has done a lot of puppeteering in both of their lives. When it comes to Tamar Braxton, she really uh, she released a statement um, weeks before she tried to commit suicide. And that's what they're saying. That is what it is, allegedly. Um, she was saying that it destroyed her family. And she's telling the honest to God's truth. And that she was so her and her family were so so very close and she's regretting and for those of you guys who haven't saw the movie spirit is bringing this back to my remembrance she's regretting them ever asking to be in the limelight she'd rather be with her family and have close to nothing than to be going through this and feel separated you know she has a great relationship with her new beau i don't know his name um but it's not enough it's not the family dynamic because she really is a family person despite how big her mouth is tamar is the one that when things go down and that's why she's always running off because she's the most sensitive she's actually not as hard as she appears to the public you guys you know what i mean um it's quite the latter and the devil, you know, devil did a lot of working, not only with this show, but with the real as well. You know, everything that she was saying on that show, you guys, she was genuine. Yes, she did a lot of talking. Yeah, her mouth was big. You know what I mean? But at the same time, she spoke with reason and she really meant everything she said. And when that contract was, I, I'm hearing corrupted um, before it ended, she knew about it. Um, she was heartbroken. It seems like everything that she's done in her life, it went to, to hell. She's felt like, in a manner of speaking, it's went to pure hell. It was puppeteered by somebody else. You know, even the record deals and things like that that she had in the past, you know, she's more in control of her life now that she's taken over and now that she's left Vince, you know, she's really doing her own independent kind of thing, but she is kind of like stepping back. She really means it when she's saying that I'm tired of the narrative that they put on me, you know, yeah, I go off, I pop off and I got a mouth on me, but it's not 24 seven like they try to say, you know, it makes for good TV. That's why she's doing other projects like the hair show that she's doing. I don't know the name of it. Um, and other things that are going to be coming up for her once she gets better, once she heals. Which brings me to this card here, the Hermit card. Both of them have a lot of sorting through to do. The light here is very small to guide them through all of this muck. Both of them need to go into Hermit mode. Both of them need to stop talking so much especially Nini, I'm hearing, you know, and just really get with herself and go with it. Nini says she's on a spiritual journey. I feel like she needs to go deeper here. She needs to go much deeper here and just get alone and just get quiet, especially during these times when everybody's already going crazy as it is because of what they're trying to do with us, do to us and the agenda that they have placed upon us here. Um, now is the time to really do some meditation. And you guys already know, I say meditation is medication. It's time to go within. Unfortunately, there are more uh, tower moments coming for uh, the pair of them, I'm hearing. But Nene Leakes is being shouted to me. Hard times are coming for the pair of you because, you know, when you sign these contracts, you pretty much sign them in blood. You sign your soul away. And Tamar really did feel like the only way out was to die. It was a permanent solution to a temporary problem. You can get through this, Tamar. You know, I feel like at, at some juncture in everybody's life, we felt like this. We've wanted to check out of here. We felt like all was lost. We felt like the only way to get rid of the pain was to just say, I throw my hands up and take me away. But if you are here, first and foremost, you are strong enough to endure anything. And secondly, when people get to a higher level of consciousness, we realize that life happens for us and not to us. And furthermore, um, and this might be, some people may not understand this, but I'm still gonna say it. We are the only universe that agrees to forget before we live here, before we come back here rather. You know, some people don't believe in reincarnation, but I believe in the lamb and the life. So that means that if you haven't finished your work, you will come back here again. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't wanna repeat this. Okay, so with that said, everything that you go through in life, you've agreed to go through because it's purpose to take you higher in your consciousness, in your strength. If you get through it, if you stay stuck in that same narrative, in that same position, you will never grow and you may just very well be back here again. And that's no and you will forget again. And sometimes people will play different roles when they come back in. And you'll be reincarnated into the same dysfunctional family. Mm. 
You don't want that, do you? Huh? Our Tamar has literally felt like she doesn't have anything else left in her to, to manifest anything. She's felt unequipped. Totally unequipped here. And I'm feeling like she's, I'm feeling like the halo is like dropping off the head here on the magician. Like, I just don't have nothing else in me to give. I'm completely and totally done. Because they both have felt left out in the cold here by their counterparts. Tamar has completely felt sold out by the women on the reel. Her reactions to them, that was not fake. That was not for publicity. She doesn't really do anything for publicity. People see her as emotional, but she's really being genuine because as, as, as hard as she goes on the emotional front, she's like that for a purpose because she's very sensitive and she doesn't know how to guard her heart and protect her heart towards people. The way that her mind works, she thinks that other people works like that. And when she realizes that they don't, she, she loses it, okay? She loves very deep and she loves so deep that to the point where she doesn't protect herself, okay? Now, same thing with Nini. This is why they are friends because they have so much in common. These stories literally almost intertwine. And I feel like Nini, I have to say allegedly here because you know, if this video is ever watched by either of them, you know, they can pull it. So um, I feel like Nini, another reason why she can relate to her is because she's been touched as well and she hasn't made that public. Um, but this is a secret that Tamar, say, she's saying that it was a secret that she wanted it to be secret and they revealed it. So between that and everything else that she's going through, she's just like, you know what? I feel completely and totally just done here. And left out Nicole with her baby. <clears throat> By that I'm hearing, okay, too. You know, they both given control over to these networks, to these people that they love. And they saw how that's worked out and they won't be doing that anymore. Both of them won't, especially Nene here. She's like, you know what? I got a new, I got a new team around me. I got new things around me. And, and it doesn't have to necessarily be people. It can be her tapping into her, her spiritual team, you know, her guides and things like that and saying, look, I'm going higher with this. I'm tired of letting people rock my boat and, and leave my boat or this blimp ass, so to speak. Cause I get swords energy. Whenever I get swords energy, that means that that is, um, uh negative energy this hasn't worked out in the past letting somebody else lead your boat the only time this works is when you allow spirit to lead your life which is the best person to lead okay both of these women to the world are viewed as very strong and are very much um whenever i get the empress card women of vision women that are capable of bringing their truths and their dreams to light but I think people forget this so easily, no matter what kind of facade and front people put on, at the end of the day, they're flesh and blood, just like you and I. So this strong woman breaks too. She cries too. She's had enough too. And actually the strongest people endure the most and hurt the most because they've had to carry so much. Strong people need to realize that it, it's about balance. There is strength and vulnerability. I'm a firm believer in when you are hurting, go ahead and cry it out. That is not weakness. Weakness is keeping it in and being a person that it, it, um, doesn't let it out. And as a result of you not letting that out, it, it builds up in you, turns into toxin, turns into poison, and it results in you wanting to take your life because it's too overwhelming. And that's what happened here. And it can happen again if this is not checked, if they don't both go in and do their work. Because they've both given so much time, so much money, so much energy to other people that they feel um, lost on feeling here. It doesn't matter how much they put into themselves, how good they look on the outside to everybody else, how and it's giving me King of Cucks because both of them have strong masculine energies on the one hand. They're women, but they have strong masculine energies. It doesn't matter how good and how, you know, how dressed up, how much money they have. And uh, both of them are hurting though. And I'm feeling like one or both of them have depended upon having a drink to really ease the mind. Not drugs. I'm not hearing drugs, you guys. Just good old glass of wine or something strong and stiff. Okay? Because I'm sick of it is what I'm hearing, you know. 
both of them has have felt like you know very strong as as being women of visions but they feel unequipped they feel like their weapons have been taken and their life has been taken and they're walking in the dark alone but they have one another i feel like in the sense of the humanness you guys can relate because this happens all day, every day, and it's not something that's on the news with a regular person, a person who has been touched by a family member or, um, you know, um, taken advantage of by anybody at some juncture in their life is never is never a good thing. But mental health and hurt and pain, no matter how much money you have, is still very much a real thing. So let's see what's coming up for them here in the future. I do feel um, that they're going to work through this and they're going to come out better on the other end. Sometimes destruction comes before healing can. Sometimes things need to be torn down so that they can be in turn rebuilt for the better, the stronger foundation. Both of these ladies have given a lot to other people. They've given rubies to people and seen through people. They knew how things would turn out, but they still did what they did anyway in love. And as a result, they got less back for what they give it. Since they're the ones with the bigger mouths, whenever things go awry, people are like, that's your fault. You're the one that did that. And when in actuality, it's really not. People don't understand how deeply these kind of people love. But what it's what it sounding like is Nene and Tamar both are very much wounded women. And let me tell you guys the difference between a wounded woman and an awakened woman. A wounded woman is afraid to speak her truth. She lacks self-worth. She tolerates toxic people. She seeks external validation. She people pleases. She apologizes for who she is. And she has negative self-talk. Now, I feel like Tamar has done a lot of growing, believe it or not, because I don't believe we change, but we do grow. And same with Nini, I'm hearing. But this is when you'll know that they're at a level that's really for their betterment because a uh, awakened woman is a woman who honors her truth. She sets loving boundaries. She feels validated from within. She inspires others to shine. She lives unapologetically. She speaks gently to herself. And I feel both of them are getting here, but they still have some things to do in clearing these dark skies in the back here. Dark times, I'm sorry to say, are still ahead, but light ones are also ahead as well for both of these women. But they both got to clean the soot in their lives, which brings me back to the hermit card that we've seen earlier. And they have to armor themselves with the light. But in order to do that, they have to go within and get rid of all this darkness for renewal to come in, to get these wheels working and, and, and moving in their lives in a positive way. So the rest of their lives won't be like the, the, the earlier part. You want the latter to be better. I don't know about you, but I want the next um, 30 plus years of my life to be good on up, on up until I, you know, check on my up out of here. You know, I'm feeling like there's a, a fight for love going on in one of these relationships. I'm feeling like within. OK, thank you, spirit. Within the dynamic of family between both of these. And that's something that is kept secret a lot. You know, um, everybody's fighting for love and attention. Everybody wants Nene um, and Tamar's time. Mostly Nini's I'm feeling like here. Nini gives her love and her reverence to her husband. She genuinely does. Even though I feel like she doesn't really want to be with him. Um, and then there are other people who fight for her love. I'm feeling like a third party here. Um, Tamar, not so much. Different different thing. Um, but that's what I'm getting off that card. Both of these women are very, very strong women here. They just need to remember that and stand in this. And they're going to come back into their strength. That's why this is very much a present card. You know, both of them are waiting for their rewards to come in. You know, Nene coming off the way that she does on Real Housewives of Atlanta and coming off as jealous of her castmates, uh, especially Candy Burris, are because she really does believe she's deserving. She feels like she is the, you know, um, original, you know, the OG, so to speak, on there. And that she should be getting these opportunities that are afforded to other people. And there is some jealousy. Like, I've been here the longest and I'm not offered spinoffs. Like, why? Why? You know, she feels some type of way. But spirit is in her life. I just wish she would allow it to, you know, work more on the forefront for her and speak for her rather than her speaking from her lower vibrational, vulnerable, wounded self. Because this is why she's standing here waiting for things to come in for her. 
because she hasn't learned how to allow spirit to lead and she's not done all of her healing. This is why this is at a complete and total stop. Both of them are very much women that are on guard. Um, they side eye everything in their lives. These women are literally almost, com they're polar opposites in some way, but they're completely the same in, in, in others. Very minimal, but enough for them to understand one another. They do have, like I said earlier, Spirit was saying a lot in common, but um, they both side eyed situations. They both move, can move a little bit robotically and what people feel is the norm for them, which is, you know, attitudes and stuff like that. Can we get the outcome of what's coming with Tamar? And can we get some encouraging words for the pair of them, please? With the Seven of Pentacles, anytime I get this card, it's giving me one or two things. It's giving me something that has to do with legal matters. So I'm feeling like these contracts are going to be centered, for both of them, are going to be centered around what they're both wanting. This could also speak to marriage. Um, if Nini's thinking about divorcing Greg again, they go back in, they go back and forth with that. And it, they're up and down, in and out kind of uh, relationship. Um, but I'm also feeling like, like I said, this is centered around contracts and them being very careful and them writing up what it is they're wanting here in the future okay um i know that nini i'm sorry you guys she is not in love with greg like she once was you know he he actually was the one that was uncertain and she was very optimistic and loved love love loved her husband still love but it's a different kind of love it's a comfortable love it's a let's maintain this you're my family kind of love and spirit is saying i'm not i'm not done with this car what else are you saying here Same thing with Tamar, with Vince in the past. She was just like, wow, they have that in common too. She was just like Nini in the way that she, you know, she loved him, very optimistic, very happy and everything. And then things just started falling apart. That's why it's in the past. But I have good news. There are happier times coming in for the pair of them. Because there are people who genuinely see their worth. There are people who really root for them and want the best for them. And so because of that reason, there will be more opportunities for the pair of them. Okay. They have some fighting to do here. To prove, you know, to themselves and to the outer world looking that there, it's all, all is not as it appears or as it seems, you guys. Looks can be very deceiving. Things can truly be edited. Now, they both do have mouths. Don't get me wrong. It's easy to catch you when you got a mouth and edit everything and make it look like you got the mouth 24-7. So this is why they're going to have to fight. They have to fight for their sanity. They're going to have to fight for the contracts they want. They're going to have to fight for being seen for how they want to be truly seen to the public eye and undo these narratives and agendas that have been placed on their backs and that they wear. They wear labels. I almost kind of see them... Um, each of them, I'm seeing them bare, I'm seeing their skin, I'm seeing different labels on them. Like I'm seeing on Nini, ugly, black, you know, um, unworthy. I think these are things that they say to themselves, labels. And I'm seeing um, on Tamar, she, because she, of course, is bald, but I'm seeing she bald, she's loud, she's um, unhinged. These are things that I'm seeing that they, they've told themselves as a result of what's been told to them. You guys, be mindful of that. What the world tells you is not what you have to define yourself as. People will call you many things, but when you realize that a lot of what people say to you is a deflection of how they feel about their person, you feel a lot better about life because it's not what people call you, it's what you answer to. These women are not those things. Yeah, you can have a mouth all day long because you're trying to protect yourself. That doesn't mean you deserve to define yourself as less than or to allow other people to do it for you. You guys. Huh. Ding, 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 ding. This is my powers that be card. And you guys look at his hands. I always see his hands as being so like, like evil looking. I ain't never seen a man that had nails like this. But this is in an upside down position. Okay. And what this is saying is there was a lot of puppeteering done The the powers that be were involved in this. You know, those networks, how she's saying it's equivalent to slavery. She ain't lying. OK, how they, you know, work the narrative, how they build everything and how they dig up things for a buck. And you sign that contract, though, so you sign your will away. 
to be famous and have a dollar, is it really worth your sanity? Well, people really say, oh, you got all this money though. Like you should be happy. Uh, money does not equate to wealth. Happiness is is made from within. It is, it is something that you don't have to pay for. Happiness is priceless because it's created within the self. You can't go out and buy that. I don't care how much money you spend, how many cars you got, how many, how big your house is, how long it spans. Happiness is created, not, not purchased. They both have worked tirelessly here and they're still working, you know, for every dollar that they make here with the eight of pentacles. And there's so much smoke that they have to clear that they're not seeing. It's like they've been deceived so much and they're still being deceived here okay all of these things i feel like are the rewards that they've been given as a result of putting in this hard work but this is only half of what they've been with their old you know tamar argues that she makes 16 times less than her counterparts of other shows anybody that's not the same race you know it, it's worth more she feels like in her mind that's very true statement she's making here this is not just for for um you know, sometimes people try to spin a narrative before the show comes out. Now, it will be played in two of the shows, both the pair of them, okay? Because they'll take advantage of it if these two decide to go back to their respective shows. Um, but, um, yeah, this is less than what they deserve. And that's why the discouraged, that's why the face looks discouraged here on this young man. Because he knows no matter how hard he works, he'll never be given the equation of what everybody else has gotten. So it is exactly what uh, she's saying here family this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart surround this person yourself and the experience with calming blue light and many angels be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace now i'm feeling like this is for tamar because i um i, I know she said she was raped um but I, I don't know if it was it was it by a family member um i'm feeling because this is what this is about she needs to give this over to spirit. She needs to, this is a secret that she may have wanted to very well take to her grave, but it needs to come out so she can do some healing because this child in her is crying out for help. This child in her is, is begging to be released so that it can be healed and that she can feel whole, even the more so in her adult. This is another reason why Tamar acts out because there's still a child in her with a whole bunch of trauma that she needs to release. I'm hearing same thing with Nini. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. Every single thing that has happened to these women in their lives, spirit has been with them. And same thing with you all. Spirit has been with them through each phase and cycle. And it's time to let the sun set on the negative in their life. It's time to push forward because for as long as we live through all the things that we go through, we have to keep pressing through. And it's supposed to make us stronger. It's supposed to take us to a level of higher consciousness. If we go within, there are things that are detrimental that happens to our person, that happens to people that we love. And they happen and they are allowed because they're supposed to cause change. Even death, you know, it, it takes me back to the young man, Junior, killed by um, grown men with machetes over a lie. And as a result of it, his mother became an advocate. That woman could have very well laid down in her grief and just gave up on life, but she didn't. She kept going. So no matter what happens to you in this life, there's nothing that you can't go through that you can't come through. Joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy, joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. They both need joy. They both need happiness. This is confirmation of what I was saying on earlier. That's created from within. They need to get back to that space of uh, that childlike joy. The little things that make you happy. Children get, are happy with dirt. Okay, they're happy with clay. They're happy, you know, they know how to find the 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 fun in the smallest things. This is why I go into y'all cabinets and these children done got into the oil. They done got into the peanut butter. They done got into, oh, I sound like Tamar. <laughs> they done got into all that. So I'm channeling them, makes sense. Um, because they're finding fun. 
And another platform, you guys, that I love that they're trying to take away is something every single doggone month. They're trying to take away TikTok now. That's the only platform that you can actually be yourself and have fun and have a grand old time. For those of you guys who are not using the app, I suggest you jump on it because um, going a little into the collective, and I'll do this at a later date too, but because um, I'm veering off, but Spirit is giving this to me for a purpose. You know, the desire is to take away our joy, you guys. And that's one of the few apps left where people are being their genuine selves and having fun. And they want to take that away because the desire is to make us go crazy. How many people can we make check up out of here and feel exactly how Tamar is feeling? Wow. I like how you piece that together, Spirit. Um, yeah. How she's feeling? A lot of people are feeling. A lot of people. She is not alone in this. It has nothing to do with her money. You know, it has everything to do with her happiness and she's not happy. If there's anybody out there feeling like this, I want you to turn it over to spirit. And if you feel like you can't get through it, please reach out to me. Let's set up a session. Let's work through it if you need an ear. Like I always tell you guys, it's worth it to invest in yourself. We, we invest in what we feel is valuable, but most important, when it's about saving our life, we'll do what we need to do. Because... You can't get on a human level what, what spirit gives on a soul level. It goes deep. Spirit will move things in one session that a psychiatrist might take 10 years to do because spirit knows your best. Who would you want to give you information? A person that is with you and watching you 24 seven that is for your highest good or somebody that went and got an education and that's relying on a book and has no life experience. I'm just saying. Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better allow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by your side to by your side, who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. This is funny because I, that's what I feel like Spirit was saying earlier. I feel like Nini is trying to go about this by herself. She's trying to make more opportunities that she's creating on her own, that she's pitching, that she's doing. That nobody, I feel like there's something people know about. There's not, there's not a lot people know about here. Okay. Both of these women, but I feel like it, this is talking more about Nini. Spirit is having me end the reading with these two cards. These two women have both been considered. I got to give it to you guys how Spirit is given to me. So it's, this is not my words, but these, this is feeling like the court gesture. They have both been considered the clown, the jokes, the butt of the joke, the problem. You know, the people who are the most entertaining because of their crazy. But they have so much music inside them. They have so many gifts that people overlook. The darkness is more centered on than their light. They're both wanting their light to be noticed here. They're both wanting to not have to wear this mask that's been placed on them. I feel like they both kind of have capitalized on the ignorance in the past and they don't want that. They're both being touched by light. This is why the chaos is happening because they're both wanting a change in their lives. Two very talented, gifted women here look at as pure clowns. You guys, and that's unfortunate. And I do hope this changes for them so they don't look like the fool here. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. They gonna have to make some changes because this is very present. This is how they still look to everybody. And some people are taking what Tamar is going through as a joke. I'm like, yeah, she ain't really trying to kill herself. Yeah, you know, it may, they meant. I don't know if you guys seen that, seen that written anywhere, but I'm feeling like people just don't care as much because they're like, you know, what with her mouth, you know what I mean? Like, what she she tried to do that. You know, people are quick to attack people because they don't know their story. They don't know their story. There's so much music in both of these women. And I do hope that they find their light because we all have light and dark within us. I do hope that the world is able to start seeing the balance between these two and, and stop seeing just the one part of them because that's what the desire is here. They both want to be seen as the loving people that they are for the sacrifices they've made. They want, they want people to see what they've done that is good as opposed to all of this bad. Okay, you guys. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this whole entire situation. Can you relate? Um, and if so, feel free to share some in the comment section. Feel free to drop some words of encouragement to people who might be going through this very thing. And I will see you all in the next video.
video. Thanks for watching. Blessings.